In this tutorial here at Websites for Beginners, we are looking at the extension from Piotnet add-ons for Elementor called Maximum Width that allows you to set the maximum width of any element. And if you are interested in Piotnet add-ons for Elementor, please check out the link in the description below and you will find that they've got quite a number of interesting extensions. You can watch the videos and tutorials here on this channel. We are currently within the Elementor page builder and this page that I have loaded from the starter sites that comes with the Zeta theme will be the backdrop for setting our maximum width. I'm just going to choose this title up here and that is how easy it goes. Click on it, it opens here in the edit and then we go to advanced and you look here for the PIFE maximum width. But it's important to understand that all of these extensions focus heavily on responsiveness. So when we talk about maximum width, we can apply it in pixels or percentage. Let's make it 300 pixels. But what is important to understand that you can set that maximum width for your tablet and as well for your mobile. The other thing that you can also do once you've set the maximum width in pixels or in percentage, let's give it uh, well, 55, something different out of the box, you can also center align it over here. Pyodnet add-ons for Elementor allows each of their extensions to be sculpted responsively. That is really all the control we want when we are talking about mobile first. And this is the maximum width extension, not only for something like text, but you can find it in each and every of the other elements. For example, here I am on the icon box and you will find in the icon box that we just click again on it, advanced, there it is again. You can do it to all the elements where it is logically possible to set a maximum width. This is JP with Websites for Beginners.